Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tool Monster uh, channel. We've got a really special guest here today. We've got Tony. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. A good friend of mine. No, you're hard to pass. Good luck. Thanks for having me. Great to have you here. So, really, just want to give everyone a quick introduction about yourself. What company you're from? Um, just okay. a quick sort of background. Yeah, I'm Tony. I'm the MD at Velocity Pro Gear. Uh, we started back in 2014 doing OEM products for companies like Travis Perkins, BSS, Arco mm -hmm. Safety, up in Hull. Yeah, so it's gone on from there into premium tool stuff. Pretty much exploded. Right? Yeah, 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 actually, yeah, it's going really, really well. Working with a lot of different influencers and tradesmen, they give us ideas and we like to work closely. With trades people, we've still got two directors on the tools as well, so yeah, Brilliant. going really well. well. Going really well. A very hands on company, aren't you? We like are, you know. we are, yeah. We, yeah. we get involved with all the trades, um, get them involved, you know, see what products or different changes the ones to the bags that we've already got or new ideas. Yeah. So, I think yeah. anyone who has spoken to you in person is very like you're very personable oh, to you, very kind of you. I try to be. Off it's camera, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it'll be different <laughs> off camera. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, no, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, yeah I Honestly, think we're, like it's we're just working class guys. Yeah. That have, I used to be a carpenter many many moons ago. Some people would maybe call me a wood butcher, but yeah, like I said, two of the other directors are still on the tools, so yeah. we get a lot of influence from those guys as well. I think that's great when when you're actually able to. It's not just a salesman selling a bag. Yeah. Like, yeah, this actually works this way. Yeah, because yeah. the best way to do it, even with your like, Collaborating with PB and stuff, you you because you're able to see how a bag actually operates and tools you can put in. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. So obviously we know how things are made by the factory. Yeah. So me and Pete or Nick, uh, we've, we've we've just done a bag with recently, but mainly Pete at the moment. We've done about five or six bags, I think now with Pete. So he'll have an idea. Uh, we'll put our heads together. He'll do a, he, although he said it himself, like a child sketch. Um, but I understand it and then yeah. we'll get a first sample working off that uh, look at it how it works Give it to the couple of directors or friends of ours that are still in the trade to use it come back with the Pros and cons of it and work off it that way uh, nice. Peter will look at it. I'll look at it and then it evolves into maybe four or five samples and then the final production It's got like, it's really it's so interesting to see because as a trade I'd never ever even understood how like you come up with the idea of a bag and how but yeah. go on go on Going to your face and seeing the process of it and actually going, yeah. this is how we've got to click the drawing with the prototype. Yeah, for sure. Really, really cool. Yeah, yeah for cool. sure. I mean, even guys that I've met through Instagram, and we've got lots of friends on Instagram now, you know. I, I won't name them all because there's too many to mention, yeah. but there's a few that uh, that come up and see us and get involved and show us how things could work or change. And uh, yeah, it's really helpful and they've become mm -hmm. really good friends. So it's really right. good. So, Tony, I'm going to ask you something. Yeah. Let me know your funniest story you've ever had in work. Um, it's difficult, really, because I've not been on the tools for many years now. So, um, a few years. Sort of, yeah, quite a few years. years. All right, Adam. Yeah. All right, Adam. <laughs> um, so, I would probably say most of that funny stories evolved from doing the travelling, you know, and we go yeah. up to our factories over in the Far East. And, uh, so, um, got quite a few stories. A few we've, we've already said I can't probably <laughs> say on camera, but um, that may be for over a couple of points later. Um, one of the stories was I went to, uh, I was invited to a meal uh, with one of the factories and uh, the guy who run the factory, it was his father's birthday, it was at his 85th birthday. And um, this was over in the far east, like I mentioned, and they're all sitting around the, the round table and uh, they're all drinking rice wine and they're all pointing a finger at me laughing saying he can't drink his, his English he's going to struggle so I'm sitting there English can't well yeah, yeah. well I'm, I, you know I'm part cult anyway yeah, you've you yeah, seen yeah. me sink a few points in the, in the past so so I'm drinking the rice wine having a bit of fun and whatever and, and blessing the old fella he's, uh, he's trying to keep up with me and uh I remember about five minutes before we leave, he looks absolutely battered. Uh, he gets off his chair, walks out of the room and stumbles down the steps. And we're all trying to, everyone rushing to grab him from falling over, blessing him, he's an old fella. But he was laughing about it, but yeah. And I'm standing there, brand new. So yeah, that's about as clean as I can keep it, to be honest. But uh, yeah, that's one of the funny stories. But there's loads of different Pick it on stories. the elderly, really. Well, uh, yeah, well, most people, well, you're picking on me now. I'm getting, I'm getting on a bit, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's how it goes. But um, yeah, no, brilliant. Well, Tony, 
could you tell us if you could go back in time yeah. to your younger self, you're just starting out in your career, <laughs> yeah. what do you wish you could tell yourself back then? Um it's a difficult question. Um I would probably say maybe a bit more belief. But it was it was different back in the day because back in the day there was no internet. You know, it's very, very, very different. different. So much opportunity. Yeah, you know, like yeah, it was very with... different. And when when opportunities arose, then and I'd say I was around, <coughs> excuse me, around twenty five when the internet started. You know, dial yeah. up and stuff. It changed. It, it 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 just the whole thing changed for everybody in terms of you know getting out there, getting over to the far east, talking to different companies. Yeah. You know. Before it was telephone and, and we live in Sierra Leone. Yeah, so like, we're, sure. we're in <coughs> Belfast here, and we're speaking yeah. to people all over the EU and America, and yeah. Canada, and everywhere. Like yeah, it's like, yeah no, it's great. I mean, so to answer your question, it's quite difficult, really, because there's not a lot I could have changed at that time. Yeah. It's just I'm I'm where I am now, as a you know, as a result of what's happened yeah. previously. Do, do you get yeah, what I mean? Right. I mean, there's yeah. lots of things that are, you know I could probably change. Um, Personally, to a certain degree, but work-wise, it's an, it just it's evolved into this. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? I was, yeah, a, I was a carpenter, yeah. and then um, and then I owned an opticians uh, with a, a fellow fella, fish, uh, Yeah, and that's yeah. how we got into the sort of safety business. Um, yeah, a guy came in from Camera Safety, which was part of Scott Health and Safety, and he brought a breathing right. apparatus in. Right, okay. And it was for the guys that worked at Sellafield, and he wanted us to put the the spectacle inserts in, so we had to make the prescription oh, spectacles okay. for it. And like I said, that was just around the time that dial-up came, the internet started to explode. So uh, we then got on it and thought there's you know, some legs in this. And then we got ourselves over to the Far East after you know a few emails and back and forth. And uh, that's how we got into the safety. It's industry. just like having the gods and just go on to it. Like yeah, it was. It was a secondary kind of business for us beyond the opticians. We had a spec savers and, and then a Kodak centre. But obviously this was a separate side of it and that kind of exploded from there. And... My business partner kept the opticians and I took the safety side and then I got involved with Arco, who's now probably the biggest safety company in the UK up in full. You know, turn over about 450 million a year, maybe more now. And it kind of just spiralled from there, really. Right. Yeah, class. Really yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was good. So, um, <coughs> like, what sort of advice would you give to like, somebody starting out as an apprentice in the trade? Um, again, I would say, you know, Take on as much information as you possibly can. I mean, you've got to enjoy what you're doing. If you're a plumber, sparks, a chipper, HVAC, whatever you are, you've got to enjoy what you're doing. But you've got to soak up all that information and work with experienced tradespeople. You can't do anything better than that. You've got to work with people that are experienced and learn off them as much as you can. Like I say, soak up all that information. And two, give Tom Monster a call and get a 12% discount. <laughs> <laughs> we do discounts. <laughs> Tell us yeah. what, 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 Edit um, that. Scray away. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right, Tony, if you could give one piece of business advice, even to somebody who's been a businessman for years or someone yeah, who, yeah. even a girl who's just starting out yeah. their own business, just one bit of advice, <laughs> would, you, would you say? You've got to believe in what you're doing. You've got to believe in what you're doing. You've got to enjoy it. Yeah. 40% of your life from work. Yeah, and, and, you've got to and it's the old adage, you've, you've, you've got to work hard. There's no shortcuts. You've yeah. got to put the time and the effort in. It depends where you, I mean, if you're happy doing a, you know, a 30, 40 hour week, you know, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to get to the next level, you've got yeah. to put them hours in, you know yourself, you work. Yeah, like any experience, that, like, yeah. you're, you're, especially at the start, you're smashing it. Like yeah, doing. of course. You just got, and if you love it, it's so much easier. And that's yeah. enjoyable. Like, 100%. Personally, enjoyable. 100%. You've you know? got to put the hours in. You've got to, you've got to like it. You've got to enjoy the job that you're doing. But you've also, you know, on the flip side of it. Don't push it till you know you you you're worn out. You've got to, you've got to yeah. give yourself a bit of time off. Um, yeah, of course you have, of course you have. But yeah, and also you adapt to change where necessary. You know, everything's evolving so quick nowadays. You know, internet, social media. You know, there's lots of guys I know that start up that have got no social media accounts. Now I'm not saying that you have to have a social media yeah. account, but it helps because a like, lot of the go back at one point like yeah. where the internet now is so huge. You can yes. Just of course you can. The opportunity with that. Yeah, of course. If you've grown your business, you've got to be out there. You know, the customers now are looking on social media yeah. to find people, looking at people's work via, via social media. Even if you're not particularly keen on it, you, you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to do all singing, all dancing, but you've got to put yourself out there, hard work, like I say, and adapt to change where necessary, wherever you yeah. need to do that. And yeah. Well, Tony, thanks very much for coming on board. Thanks for having me. Thank mate. you. Cheers. And, uh, 
thanks very much for coming and we'll see, see you again and don't forget to click subscribe at the bottom see you later cheers